What's up everyone and welcome to season 2 of the Everton career mode. Now to start off I have put most of the senior players on the transfer list because I feel like now is the time to try and cash in on them before they start going way downhill. So these are the players I'm talking about. We put Rooney, Baines, William and Balassi are probably the top 4 players that we're going to be making money from so I feel like their time is up at Everton and they just had to be sold. And then the rest of the players are kind of sporadic players plus a lot of the youth academy because I feel like they're just kind of wasting space on the squad and then we have Luckman on the loan list because we found another gem of a left winger hiding in the club. So while Luckman is off on loan gaining his experience up in his rate and we have this guy called Onikuru 78 rated already. I have no idea where he was last season where we were looking for left wingers but he's magically appeared this season. 91 acceleration, 91 sprint speed and 81 finishing and 89 dribbling as well. If I knew he was in the club I wouldn't have signed Leon Bailey at all. So what I want you to do right now is leave down below who you should think I should sign. We kind of need a player in nearly every position except left winger I'd say at this stage. A rotation player or just a full on replacement. Who cares? Let me know in the comment section below. We have 100 million to spend this summer. This is going to be class. So while I'm waiting for all your suggestions, this is the pre-season tournament friendly group stage in which we are going to be playing today. We're going to be playing two of the games and simulating the last one just to get out of the group stage while I wait for all your suggestions in the next episode. So we've best as best Benfica and Porto should handy enough get out of that group. So the first game of the preseason tournament friendly trying to add on another 8.5 million onto that transfer budget is against Benfica. Now there is a lot of players gone on international duty so this is the team I could kindly make up without anybody being away on international duty so we've Pickford in goals. Henricks is still at the club. Lukaku has gone back on loan. Henricks is staying for another season. Funes Mori, Galloway and Baines in the back line. Gaia, Rooney and Sigurdsson in the midfield and then Sandro Balassi and Bailey up front. I did want to start the new guy but I do want to give Bailey his chance because he played pretty well last season. I know this isn't going to be Benfica's starting 11 but it still should be fairly close or something at least. Anyway, who do we got? What the fuck? How do I not know any of the Benfica team? I think I need to catch up on a good few team sheets. 10 minutes in, Benfica get a great ball in. Oh no, it's in the back of the net. Literally the only attack of the whole entire game and Mr. Ponytail and Mustache over here decides to bury it. 1-0 down! Oh, what the the fuck is even happening here? We're 2 0 down to Benfica. Our team is all over the place. We either need to get the starting 11 back as quick as possible or sign a lot more players. I got too cocky at the start. Thought we were playing with the starting 11. Weren't playing with them. Into Leon Bailey. Great ball. Hit the finesse. Oh, Paulo Lopez gets the save. We're only five minutes into the second half, but I can't do it anymore. I need to make substitutions. We're playing the new gem we found on Akuru. He's got all the stats of a good striker, so let's throw him up there, see what happens. Velasquez is coming on instead of Velasquez, and Tom Davies is coming on instead of Rooney. We have to try and at least get a goal in this game. Try and salvage some pride. Leon Bailey. Yes, Leon Bailey. Let's go with this. Can we get a goal back from right here, right now? Yes, waiting for the run of Rooney. Oh, Rooney, would you ever make a run, please? Okay, he finally does. Yes, boom, double tap that Rooney. Oh, what a save. Tom Davies, nice first touch into Vlasic. Vlasic, hit your long shot. Oh, oh, smashed off the crossbar. Yes, Tom Davies in a bit of space. Tom Davies, hit your long shot. Oh, come on. Funes Mori has gone down injured. That's not exactly what you want to hear because we've no centre backs on the bench. So all I'm going to have to do is bring on this right back instead. Oh, what a touch. Yes, can he make his first goal for Everton? Finesse that. Oh my God, his finishing is 81. How did he miss that? swing that ball in. Can someone get a head on it? Tom Davies gets his head. Oh, Paulo Lopez is the greatest keeper that ever walked this earth. Vlasic is making the run out the wing. Oh, Vlasic swings a nice ball in back post. Leon Bailey with the scissors kick in the back of the net. 18 minutes left to try and draw this game. Keep going with that Tom Davies. Jesus Christ, Tom Davies actually has a bit of pace. Does he have a shot? Oh, Paulo Lopez just saves things for fun these days. Yes, on the crew, make a nice run. Yes, get your first goal. Boom! Oh my God, where is his finishing coming from? That's the end of the game, man. We lost the last last three games of the last episode now we've started off this season with an absolute cracker of a loss really though oh we need to get a win quick Funes Mori one of our spare centre backs has just torn his ACL and will be out for seven months well now we need a centre back don't we couple of transfer offers Spurs come in looking for Jordan Pick for 14 million no way he is our main keeper he is not going anywhere 
but Calgary have come in looking for Nias for 7.3 million. That's looking likely we're going to accept that one. So the board reckons we'll only get up to 7.1 million for him. So I think 7.3 million is not a bad offer. He's not going to play at all as soon as we sign more players. So so hopefully the transfer negotiations don't break down and he goes and we get 7.3 mil. Oh, and by the way, I've also added three players who I think we should sign. Sesson Young, Tammy Abraham and Justin Clivert. Let me know what you think about those three players. Ryan Sesson Young is tearing it up in real life. So surely he can't be half decent in this game either. So the last game we're going to be playing today is against Porto. Then we're going to simulate the next one. Whether we get out of the group stage, I'm not really too bothered about the preseason tournament friendly. I'm just trying to pass the time, just waiting for you to get all your suggestions in until we build this squad that's going to be challenging for the treble this season so still waiting for the start 11 to come back from international duty so two changes made from the last time we played Onokuro is replacing Leon Bailey see how he gets on out in his original left wing position and then naturally Funes Mori is going to be out for 7 months so Martina has to replace him so now we have a right back and a left back as our two centre backs yeah perfect Porto starting 11 for all the people who know Porto starting 11 into what? Why does that say Henri? What? Why does that say Henri? Is that his first name? His first name must be Henry, but with that kind of finish, his new nickname is Thierry Henri, lads. His new nickname is Thierry Henri. Go away with Anakuru. That's not his name anymore. Thierry Henri has just signed for Everton with that kind of finish. Woohoo, baby! Wait for the run of Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson gets the run of Sandro. Sandro, take a touch, hits the shot. Oh my god, what a block. Swing that ball in back post. Surely a goal. Oh, Blassie comes back out to Sigurdsson. Oh, what a save. Maybe that's why Casillas isn't in goal. Great tackle, Galloway. Nice one. Yes, and a through ball into Sandro. Sandro hit that shit. Oh, 2-0 up. Porto have no idea what's happening. This one's for the fans. Those virtual fans who do not know what's going on. Absolutely throwing my bench on the pitch. Luckman is coming on. Nias is coming on. Bailey is coming on. Tom Davies is coming on. And Santoro is coming on. And last but not least, we might as well change the keeper as well. Give Stecklenberg a run. Look at that. He's absolutely lightning quick. He's unbelievable. Can you swing the ball in? Get an assist. Great ball in. Belassi's head. Oh, has to be tipped over. Come on, let's make it three for the fans now. Tom Davies, I am liking the look of this guy. Wears his socks low and it just seems like a real straight shooting kid, man. Into look, man. Hit that in your right foot. Oh, nearly two cut-ins from the left wing as a goal. Yes, nice bit of play here. Into look, man. Just on the pitch. Definitely has a nice bit of pace for him. Into Nias. One more. Into Leon Bailey. Can he finish it? Oh, just why? And look at all the space for Nias. The man who is just about to leave this club for 7.3 million. Can he get a goal before he leaves? No, that's why he is being so because he is shit. End of the game anyway. We win 2-0. Everton is back on the win trail and we actually have Thierry Henry in the squad now. Yeah, might as well keep saying that. And that was Nias's last contribution to the squad for being sold straight away after that. 6 million goes into the transfer budget. Thank you very much. So like I said, we're going to simulate this last game against Bestiktas. The whole entire group is on 3 points. So let's just see how we get on. I'm going to play the exact same squad as we did as the last game except for replacing Black with Leon Bailey just have a bit more firepower up front let's go boys see how we get on we are at home against Bestique Das 3, 2, 1 skip we win 5-1 what? I rarely ever win with a simulation never mind 5-1 Henriks, Baines, Sigurdsson, Bailey and Sandro get a goal happy days maybe the simulation curse is lifted so in the next episode we start off with a semi-final game against Roma so don't forget to leave me your suggestions down below you've seen the squad you know what the transfer budget is we basically need a player in every single position so let me know down below so that is the end of the episode if you did enjoy it don't forget to drop it a like if you are new around here don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below want to interact with me comment section is the best place or twitter link for that is always in the description and i'll see you in the next one